Anyway, in this video we're checking out the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. This is, I guess, Emax's entry in the sort of toothpick class or ultra micro. But they've kind of taken a different approach here and I actually like it a lot. And what they've done here is they've, obviously from the name Tiny Hawk, they've taken the parts from the Tiny Hawk 2S, which is going to be the main board, the all-in-one flight controller and 4 one AC and the video transmitter. And they're using that part there along with the Tiny Hawk camera, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, we'll get to that later. And uh, yeah, they just put the antenna out here on the side. The receiver is built in to the flight controller board. It's an SPI receiver, like on the Tiny Hawk S. But they have this different power plug here in the back. And of course, different motors here. Uh, these are 1103 motors and 7000 kV on the 2.5 inch Avon Rush Prop. I'll get to the drone here, talk about this in a little bit more. You do get a bunch of stuff here with the package. You get two of the uh, 450 milliamp hour 1S LiPos and you have to connect them to this special plug here. I'll show you that in a second. This is another reason why I actually like this setup because um, if you are invested in the Tiny Hawk series, the original Tiny Hawk and the Tiny Hawk S, and you have a bunch of these um, 450 1S batteries lying around, then you can reuse them for this model, just get this model. Basically, it's just a um, no, basically it's like a, it doesn't have the prop guard and you have a bigger prop, so it's gonna be uh, a more acrobatic, that's the freestyle name. And so you're not you, you're not losing any of the things that you, you've used before for the Tiny Hawk S. If you are a beginner and started with the Tiny Hawk, move it up to the Tiny Hawk S 2S, now you can move up to the Tiny Hawk freestyle and it's sort of like the next progression in uh, their series. Uh, so you get the two batteries, you get the same uh, USB charger for the that's that plug there for the 1S batteries. Uh, I think this is also one. This is also the one that comes with the Tiny Hawk S, and you get a spare set of props. You get eight uh, propellers of these Avon Rush props. They're pretty. These are pretty tough, and this is so light. So it's going to be really hard to break these, so you might not even use a second set. You get some stickers, of course, and you get a. Nice manual, very nice. Um, pretty much like uh, the way the Tiny Hawk S manual is. Uh, it does break down everything and show um, how to set it up. There really isn't a whole lot of setup to do in terms of um, uh, beta flight and everything. It does go over some of the things here you could change in the manual, but it's really not too necessary because it's already uh, pre-tuned from the factory. On uh, 2S, of course, here with the two batteries. And you really just have to do is bind it and go and fly it. Um, you have to obviously change some of the things for the, your transmitter, make sure that your transmitter is uh, putting in the right modes for your aux channels, but that's about it. Um, let's see, so this frame is kind of interesting. So it's, you know, kind of like a toothpick style frame. It, you know, if you look at the shape here, it kind of reminds me of the Sailfly X in terms of the, the way the arms are, these thinner arms, but they're, but they're kind of like spread out here with a, a little bit more bracing. And then instead of the camera being up on top, um, the camera's up front here and the battery's on top instead of the battery being on the bottom here. So that's the difference. So the batteries actually go in like this. So take this off here and then you just slide the two batteries in like so. And just make sure it's centered and wrap the battery strap over like that. And this is how it's going to be. I'm going to put the batteries on here like this. And then you have to just plug in one at a time here. So if you just have one battery plugged in, it's not going to turn on. You're going to need both of them plugged in. And so this is a little tricky. You just get to kind of get the battery in like so. So plug one in here. And to line up the plug, it's keyed so it only goes in one way. And then plug in the other one. There we go. So this is a unique little uh, connector here. I've never seen that before, but then just lets you plug it in and you can actually turn it on on 2S like this and the receiver antenna is coming out the back. And if you're wondering if it's going to hit the props, I believe as long as it's plugged in like this and the battery isn't sliding around, uh, you should be good. I've never had any problems even when it crashes with the prop chopping up the plug here. So that's how you would install it and then you just fly it uh, with the battery on top. This is the way it's designed to be flown. Okay, so I'm sure people are going to be asking me how can you fly this on 1S and it is possible, although it's not really documented anywhere uh, and they don't provide you the jumper that you need 
to uh, jump for the other plug so you can uh, tr turn this on on 1S because this board here obviously can do 1S because the Tiny Hawk S can do 1S. And so we just pull one battery out. Obviously you want to fly with just one battery to save some weight. And obviously have one battery plugged in and then you use a jumper here on the other side and then it will turn on. As you can see. And you can fly it. Now, I haven't really done any flights with it on 1S. It does take off it, and it'll hover at about 50% throttle, which is a bit high, but if you want to do a really nice beginner setup, uh, you can fly this on 1S. It'll be nice and slow and docile. So um, I don't believe this is tuned for 1S at all. It's tuned, definitely tuned for 2S, so keep that in mind. But if you're considering maybe uh, starting off on 1S, uh, you're going to need to make one of these little jumpers. This is basically a, a end of a plug that I soldered the two wires together so it basically jumpers it. You can also use like a, a jumper from a PC. That's about the same size. I believe that'll also work as well. Okay, so here is the weight of this without any batteries. It's coming in at 52.76 grams. And we'll throw on the two batteries. And now we're coming at 78.72 grams. So definitely, I think that in terms of performance, if you guys are looking for like the typical tooth toothpick style performance, which is going to be all up weight with a 2S battery, uh, I think around 70 grams is a little bit, this is a little bit heavier. You could possibly switch these up for a 65 millimeter propeller. I haven't tried that. I'm not exactly sure if it'll fit because it is really tight here in the front. So it may not work. Um, you may have to use a smaller or chop the propeller down a little bit if you want to use a, like a two-bladed one. But I recommend just going with the three-bladed. It flies totally fine. It's not super fast. And it's obviously not the best performing out there of all of the toothpick class uh, drones that have come out recently. But it's tuned from the factory, flies very well, it's very stable. Um, I think it's got enough performance for most people. And I think if you're kind of looking for a little bit something, a little bit more controlled, not as aggressive, um, and, def and definitely not as noisy, this is not that loud either, definitely you want to check this one out. It's pretty quiet, flies really nice, and you can also fly this on 1S if you're a beginner and just want to, you know, try something that's really docile. Now, onto the camera here. I, I'm not a huge fan of this camera. I've never I've never actually been a fan of this camera from the beginning. Uh, this is the same camera that's been on all the Tiny Hawks from the original Tiny Hawk to, to the Tiny Hawk S and now on this one. I'm kind of hoping that they would have upgraded it by now, but they're still using this camera. It's an okay camera, but now that you're this is a freestyle thing and you're trying to fly this outside in parks, uh, I think this camera is better for more indoor situations than outdoor situations. And so, you know, in certain lighting conditions, this camera is not the greatest. So um, hopefully they may upgrade that later, but I think that um, upgrading that camera is not gonna be too difficult. It's just that it is kind of proprietary. It's notched into the top plate there and in the bottom plate. And this angle here is completely fixed. That's another downside is this angle, you can't increase the camera angle at all. It's totally fixed, so keep that in mind. Uh, that, that's the angle that you're going to be stuck with. If you're looking for a more aggressive angle to go faster, you're going to have to probably switch out the whole camera system. Maybe use some 3D printer parts and put like a maybe a run cam nano here in the front. That's probably going to work. Um, yeah, if you if you if you're interested in a video on how to upgrade the camera, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, if there's enough interest, I may uh, look into that and possibly put a run cam nano in this one because this is definitely a lot of fun to fly it's just that I wish the camera were a, uh, a better quality camera anyway that's gonna do it for this video here's some more flight footage for you let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one